Well, tomorrow, students all across the country will be walking out of class in support of the 17 victims from the Partland Floor School shooting. So that includes students right here in central Indiana. And as we mentioned here yesterday, schools like Hamilton Southeastern, Greenwood, and Zionsville are all responding to student protest plans. Our Carlos Diaz joins us live from the west side. And Carlos, the students at Plainfield High School, they're actually planning a, a different kind of demonstration tomorrow. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, Ben, they're calling it a March to Remember, and their sole focus in this March to Remember is to focus on the 17 lives lost in those Parkland, Florida shootings that happened last month, rather than actually focusing on gun control regulation. Now, what they're saying is here in Plainfield that since the year 2000, there have been 227 students killed in school shootings since the year 2000. Unbelievable. And the two Plainfield se seniors who have planned tomorrow's march, Anna Alderine and Caitlin Boer, were able to put those tragic losses into perspective. There was kind of a moment where I thought to myself and looked around, imagine if this entire cafeteria people disappeared, just like off of the face of the earth, all the futures that are gone. And that's why it was so heart-wrenching to us, because you can, you hear about all of these tragic losses and you just you have to put yourself or your best friend in that school in mm -hmm. that sh in those shoes now besides tomorrow's march their senior class gift calls for planting a m memory garden here in plainfield high school's courtyard one dedicated to the victims of school violence now for security reasons they are not saying exactly what time tomorrow's march will take place just that it's between 15 and 20 minutes long so what do the parents think of the walkout that will be taking place tomorrow, the march that will be taking place tomorrow? Well, Caitlin's mom says that her daughter is an inspiration, and she's proud that the students here in Plainfield are well-grounded and wearing their hearts on their sleeves. Guys? All right, Carlos, thank you. And at other schools in the area, students are planning to walk out of class tomorrow at 10 a.m. to remember the lives of the 17 people killed in Florida. And as we told you yesterday morning, school leaders taking some different approaches here when it comes to handling the disruption in the classroom. So at Greenwood High School, administrators are offering excused absences to students choosing to take part. But students at Hamilton Southeastern and Fishers won't have the same option. The school sent a note home saying students who walk out of class are violating school policy and will have to make up any missed work. Zionsville schools also sent out a letter. They say students will be allowed to protest, but teachers will refer to the student handbook to determine what action should be taken based on how disrupted their participation is. So most schools are sending letters or emails home to parents explaining their response to these protests. So be sure to check for those. And if you have any questions, call your child's school. That way you'll both know what to expect.